Hey, what's up everybody? This is Milos and this is a first video in my video set related to PrestaShop training. First video is about PrestaShop installation process. It is worth to mention that I am recording this video in the middle of the August, so the current version of PrestaShop is 1.7.2.1. If you are watching this video later, there is probably a newest version of PrestaShop. So don't worry about that and remember it is worth to install always updated version of script. You can download it from prestashop.com website. There is a section get PrestaShop where you can download always updated version of PrestaShop engine. Ok, I assume that you already downloaded the library and unpacked it and transferred it to your hosting provider with FTP service. The other thing that is necessary during installation process of PrestaShop is an information about your mm, database. You probably already have it, so we can explain the first step of installation process. On the screen you see first step of installation assistant where you can select your shop language. If you will click on drop down list you will see a list of available languages. Just select the language and PrestaShop will automatically download the language pack from uh, PrestaShop servers. I will install this uh, PrestaShop in English language which is a default language in of the this CMS. Ok, now we can click on next button and you will go to the next step of installation process. The next step of installation process is about license of the software. Uh, PrestaShop is, um, uses an open software license, so you don't have to worry about some hidden fees etc. because um, open software license is a totally free software. You have to agree the conditions, otherwise you will not have possibility to go to the next step of installation. So click on I agree and go to the next step. You will see there uh, a screen that informs you about your hosting environment compatibility with PrestaShop. If everything will be alright, you will see green information that mm, it, is, it is just ok. Mm, sometimes you will see an additional warnings, but you don't have to worry about them, because usually these warnings are about mm, some missing features on your hosting account. These features usually improves shop performance and can't affect the installation process or just mm, the press shop itself. So you can just go to the next step, of course, if you see the next button. You will see mm, a form with information about your store and form about your account. Mm, your account is an account of shop admin. So mm, let's fill out the first form information about your store. Shop name input field is about shop name of course. The second field main activity is only for statistic purposes. Mm, this mm, select box doesn't affect installation process and does not mean anything from PrestaShop point of view. It's only for statistic purposes as I said. So I will select other activity. Ok, here it is. So I will click on it and on the next field country I need to select country where I live or 
the target country of the shop. Please select here proper country because PrestaShop will automatically install all information about this country like uh, country codes etc. So I will select Poland because it is a country where I live. You can observe that shop time zone field will disappear. It is because time zone is set based on country you will select in first drop down. So now it's time to configure the admin account. Please provide here proper credentials just in case uh, if you will forget a password you will be able to restore it easily. So I will provide a correct mm, name, last name, email address and of course mm, password. It is worth to mention that an account of admin will have all privileges to shop. So mm, please treat it very carefully. Password must have at least 8 characters. And of course it is worth to use some special characters. Just in case uh, if some bots or robots will try to break your um, password, it is worth to use strong enough password just to avoid uh, problems with hackers. Now click on next button and you will be redirected to last step where you have to provide some informations. In this case information about your MySQL database. Please enter here all required credentials about your mm, database. You probably have them in your hosting account mm, control panel. If you don't know your database credentials, you probably have to contact with your hosting provider. So I assume that you've got the credentials and you can fill out the form with server address, database na name, in my case is a name equal to tra training, yes training, and database login and Password fields are about the user that have an access to training database with privileges to create and insert dataset to database. If you will be ready, just click on test your database connection and installation assistant will check if provided details are correct. Then click on next button and installation assistant will start installation process of PrestaShop. It will take some time so just sit and drink some coffee. I respect your time so I will not show you the installation process and I will be back here once installation will be finished. Ok, as I promised, I am here again. Once installation will be ready, you will see confirmation that your installation is finished. Here you can see um, some additional information that you put into the form during installation process. And the last step required is a deletion of install directory that is available in root directory of your PrestaShop. Just remove it and you will be able to log in to your shop back office. If you've got some questions, doubts or problem with installation process, feel free to comment this video. Bye and see you on the next guides.